You know what's helped me change my mentality towards life? is when my dad passed away almost a year ago now. Um, and before that, I was already, you know, appreciative of life and tried to be mindful, but there were still external factors such as him going through cancer, having to care for him, having to go through my own low state slash depression. There were all these external factors in life. But what has helped me is to realize that my dad is never going to be able to live again. Not in this physical form anyway, not in this realm with me. And so I view this life as a once in a lifetime opportunity, a gift to experience fully, completely. So that also means that I do appreciate the shit times, the trauma, the times where I was isolating myself or in incredibly low states because that in itself is part of this human experience. And without those times, I wouldn't be the person that I am now with the growth, the development, the awareness that I have learned along the way because of them. So in my belief, I do like to think that everything happens for a reason. Although that is a very privileged way of thinking, it is what gives me peace of mind in order to make sense of the stuff that has happened in my life. From having this belief for myself, it's allowed me to have a peace of mind, which is my version of success, honestly, like just to be in a state of flow and with peace and implement joy and excitement into my everyday. I'm lucky and extremely grateful to be able to live this life. I'm able to feel the cold air outside, even though it's fucking freezing. My dad's not gonna feel that again. I'm able to bask in the sun. I'm able to feel the warmth of the sun. My dad's not gonna feel that again. I'm able to learn things. I'm able to connect with other people. I'm able to cry. I'm able to dance. I'm able to laugh. And I will not take this opportunity of life for granted because of that. And death definitely puts life into perspective. And I'm also not afraid of death, I don't think. No, I know I'm not afraid of it because I just believe, you know, that we are, we go somewhere else. We have an existence in the womb, that ends. Then we have an existence in this life, this ends. And then we've got something else. Can't explain it, but I feel it. And so this is why you have to make yourself a priority. The relationship with yourself must be a priority. The relationship with yourself is the longest one you'll ever have. Change is the only thing that is permanent in life and we can be our worst critic. So I think the priority is just to be able to bring as much joy and happiness into your life as possible. One, life is short. Two, you're never gonna get this day again. Three, opportunities are endless. If you are in a very privileged area. Yes. Anyway, this was just my brain dump for today. You're welcome.